This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys. So I'm back again with another challenging question that I have encountered in the recent times. So let me share that with you. So the requirement is okay. So we have a screen. We have a screen like this. Okay. In that screen, we are uploading a document. Okay. So for uploading the document, you can see I have used this control here. Okay. So this file path with form, let me open this control. Okay. You can see this PZ file path with form is the control I have used for uploading the document. Okay. And uh, look at the parameters. I have just set the file path and nothing else in this. Okay. Now, I just uh, took a property to store the file data and the details and everything. Now, I have added a button. On click of the button, I'm just calling one of my activities. Okay, that activity is called as import the file data. Now in this activity, basically we are going to just read the data from the file and save it to the database. Okay, so what is so challenging in this? Most of the projects will have this, right? So the challenging thing was initially, you know, the file content was less than one GB. So there was no issues, but suddenly my client came up with a requirement saying that the file will have more than four GB of data. Okay. So generally when you store this data, we store it in, into a blob column, right? So you have the blob columns in your database and the blob size, blob cannot hold more than 2 GB of data, right? But the, my, my client is going to give me a huge amount of data which is not fitting in the blob, okay? So how did I manage to save this data into the database, okay? Uh, irrespective of the error I'm getting, how did I fix it? So first of all, let me show you the coding that I have done. So in this activity, we just took a, a new page and I wrote a piece of code to parse the Excel. So for parsing the Excel, we are calling this OOTB activity parse Excel file. It's a Pegas built-in activity, this one. Okay. Now to this, I just need to pass uh, some name of the file and a template. Okay. Whenever you're dealing with files, like whenever you're consuming a file, okay, or whenever you're generating a file, you need a template. You need to design the template and upload it in Pega. So first I designed a template like this. I just took an Excel. First you have to design the template. So I said this will be the column ID and this will be the data. Data will be in a property called as dot employee ID and it is input. So you have to write input in the flower brackets like this. So I designed a template and I uploaded it in the Pega binary file. Okay, under technical category, you will find binary files. So I uploaded it here. I have just clicked on upload and I have uploaded it. Okay, now this path I have to give here. This path. WebWB large data set is the name I gave. XLSX is the file format. So I gave that here. Okay, and that's it. Page remove. Nothing else I have written. Now I created a work object. Okay. I'm just trying to upload a file which has a huge amount of data. So I created another file with a lot of data. Like uh, you can see, I just took another file. Okay. I just gave close to 2000 numbers in that file. So 2300 numbers I just gave in that file. Nothing more than that. Like this, you can see. Okay. And I'm just trying to upload the file now. I just try to upload the file like this. Click on the upload button and go to the tracer and say, you will get this error. So what is wrong? Go and check what is error. It says large data set. So why is this saying large data set? The reason is the content in the file is more than 2 GB. It's not fitting in the blob column. Okay. So that is the reason it is throwing large data set. So how do you fix it? I can't ask my client, you know, please send me less amount of data you can't upload like this that's not the way we can you know close this so what did i do to fix this okay so we went to database okay so we created a new column like this we added a new column of type clob 
okay not blob i'm using clob now so instead of blob i'm using clob so i took a new column clob and i connected this new column to my existing property how do you connect it open the class rule form okay just go to the class whichever you're using In the external mapping, you just need to give your column name and the property name. So I created a new column called as employee underscore large. My old column was just employee ID. My new column is employee ID underscore large of type club. And I connected my property and column here. Okay. Then how about the data in the old column? All the data should come into the new column, right? So I'm copying all the data into the new column like this. Now the old one, I want to mark it as old and the new one I want to mark it as employee ID because all my existing code is dealing with employee ID. Just because I created a new column now employee ID underscore large, you know, I don't want to rename all the things or just, you know, I want to continue with the old name. So what I did is old one employee ID, I renamed it as underscore old. New one underscore large is there, right? I made it as just employee ID. Okay. So these are the four queries which we executed. And finally, now we are able to save the data because it is getting stored in clob and not in blob. And please don't try this in post GRE SQL, PG SQL database because it doesn't have clob data type. I have done all this in my Oracle database, so it worked for me. So this is one of the challenging tasks you can explain the interviewers in case if you're attending any PEGA interviews. So this task is, you are uploading a file which has a huge amount of data and blob is not supporting it because it is more than 2 GB. So you have to convert it into clob. And how about the old columns, old data? So you wrote all these queries to maintain the old columns, old data and everything. Okay. Hope this helps. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.